And that is the commanding position that Ghana are in. Cairo was expecting this to be far closer, but really at the forefront of Egyptian minds is pride. As they play their first qualifier in front of their own supporters in over two years. That, of course, after the riots of Port Said and the changing of the president, Bob Bradley expects this to be his final game in charge of Egypt. And he has asked for pride to be restored. And just as the first game, Fabrice Mwamba is watching with me. We couldn't believe the events and how they unfolded in Kumasi. Is pride just the only target for Egypt today? I think it's fair to say that right now it's just about paying for the pride because the guy they look very strong going forward and they played a good football. They've got experience with them. So you expect them to rise to the, to the big, big challenge here tonight and hopefully they can go through to Brazil, which will be excitement for the Ghanaian national team. Perhaps not surprisingly, Bob Bradley has run the changes from that first game, six of them in all, including a change of goalkeeper and the recall of the former Wigan once hull striker Amir Zaki up front for Egypt. Just one change to the winning team for Ghana in the back after a suspension. But it is the team totally and utterly in command of this World Cup playoff. Ghana who get us underway. The result beyond their wildest dreams in their own country 35 days ago. Looking to become just the fourth ever African nation to reach three successive World Cup finals. The that is put out of play by Apari. How important is the start here for Egypt? Paris? I think it's important for them to come at the block very sharp and uh, try to put pressure on a Ghana young back four and hopefully they can try to break through them. But as I said before, the Ghana have good experience going forward and then Hopefully they can just stay compact at the back and keep a clean sheet, which would be good for them. That didn't reach Jan, the former Sunderland striker, who of course scored twice in the first leg. There's the first effort to test Dauda, and it came from Amir Zaki on his recall to the Egyptian starting eleven. It's good to see Amir starting the game again, obviously. A former Premier League player, which would be good to, to, see, to see him get back in the spotlight for the Egyptian. He's one of, one of the key players for the national side. Four seasons ago, he scored ten. Premier League goals for Steve Bruce at Wigan. He had a brief loan spell back at Hull under Phil Brown. In fact, one of the problems at Wigan was his late return and sometimes very late return from playing for Egypt. Uh, I'm sure this is a many manager who tell you this to get those kind of problems with an African player when they go away from the national side. They, they tend to take extra break when they don't need to have a comeback for the, for the, for the, toy, the team and to get ready for the weekend game. It's a free kick to Ghana. Concentration all important early on for Egypt here. And this Milan's Suleiman Tari, former Premier League player as well, of course, who is going to take it. It's aimed towards Apari. It's come back to Montari. Abu Traker with the challenge. Side flag was up. And there's the man who wants nothing to go wrong tonight and calmly lead his nation to Brazil. Kwesi Apia. I think Kwesi Apia did a great job. Is that the Ghanaian just not been lucky regarding any cup, African Nation Cup, and now in a, in a bigger stage of World Cup. But now I, I expect them to show the maturity, the likes of Montari, Essien, a small giant to play a great game and lead the country to the World Cup. Salah. Yeah. Ahmed Fatih, another man who has uh, played in England there, the Egyptian right back, formerly of Sheffield United and indeed Hull. Last season. And there is Fati making that challenge. Hassan Ghali from a Spurs and Derby midfielder who's captain in Egypt tonight. He was fouled there. And he's 31 year old. 
think the Egyptian will look in the lights of Awesome Gali to, to, to lead the team forward and to show his experience playing in the Premier League. You expect him to, to lead the team and uh, hopefully they can try to get, get a result as soon as possible and score a goal. And... Andre Ayu of Marseille. The ball forward for Ghana. Bradley did say that he hoped the place in Brazil would give a divided nation something to cheer. He hasn't had his dream script at all in the first 90 minutes. Trying to give them at least a smile on their faces at the end of tonight. It's a foul on Asamoah, the Juventus player. Free kick to Ghana. Very clever play by Samoa to use his body to get a free kick. I think the Egyptian right now, they just want to put as much pressure as possible as the, in, to the ball and trying to win the ball quickly to attack the gun in. Montari preparing to deliver this. It's a deeper one and it's a poor one. Comfortably taken by Ekrami. Affle with the improvisation. He missed the first leg through suspension. The 27-year-old who plays his football in Turkey. I can't imagine even players of this experience in a two-legged affair ever been in this, such a commanding position too often in their careers as far as Ghana are concerned, Fabrice. But we'll come back to that in a moment because this is a promising run. And that was a let-off for Egypt. Across came Naguib to do just enough here to put off Samela. Great run back, Samela shows so much positivity when he moved the ball. Fantastic block. Just, just inches away from the goal. Here's Salah for Egypt. Cut out by Apari. In from Hossam Ghali. There's a use of the hand there by Karaba, the teenager. who has been given just his third cap today by Bob Bradley. He's asked for a response and he's changed over half his team. Now, it's so fair to say, you know, the Egyptian being a home side, you expect them to get a lot of possession and they're trying to create chances, but I think the damage was already made 35 days ago. Now it's about trying to see it through and hopefully the guy there will just do a good job and take them to walk up. Bob Bradley, of course, has had all kinds of problems that he didn't anticipate since being tasked with the challenge of taking Egypt to the World Cup. It's a wild effort from Ayu, not least of which the suspension of the domestic Egyptian league. He's that Egypt are restricting their players to staying in their own country. I, I, I think it's fair to say that, you know, if, if you look at the national side of Egypt, that most of the players are based in Egypt. It, it, it's good in a sense, but also it's great that you have players to ex expand their knowledge on the football when they're playing in Europe and different leagues, which bring different knowledge, different quality to the national side, which is also good for the national team. It can only make, make an improvement to the team. Fati. Cleverly done by Kinawi. Harmlessly into the arms of Dowder in the Ghana goal in the end. This is football in South Africa for the Orlando Pirates, the 28-year-old Ghana goalkeeper. He was rarely troubled in the first leg. Salah, Fati. Blocked by Muntari, came back to Ahmed Fati. Abu Treka in all probability he's playing his last international game today. Zaki foul, 
free kick to Egypt. So far, the Egyptians have got a lot of possession of the ball right in the middle of the park and tried to pass it through the Ghanaian defence. But so far, it's been a stop and start, stop and start. Hopefully, the game will go through a fluency and let everybody enjoy the time. Well, an only goal or two for Egypt might just get the locals believing in that minor miracle. Dowder organising his wall. Mohamed Abu Traker. Man who got the consolation from the penalty spot in the first leg. Here's the man behind it. Hard and low, but not on target. Five goals in six games in the qualifiers. Added to that the game, the goal 35 days ago. Whenever you a player taking a free hit, the most important thing is to hit the target or make the keeper work. And that to me, it's like a worse free kick really because they need to score goal as soon as possible to give them a, a chance to get back in the game. When it's 100th cap two months ago against Guinea. Butreka is going to leave a big hole in the Egyptian team. Here's Karaba looking for Zaki. He managed to keep it in. Close was, the cross was too close to the goalkeeper though. Not enough body in a box as well for Egyptian. Harrison Affle is the man down here after this challenge. With his own player. He's already lost the playoff for Bradley to the Central African Republic. That was when Egypt surprised out on a place in the African Cup of Nations, which was a huge blow and then forgiven. Of course, the World Cup was the ultimate prize. Not the position any member of the Egyptian squad expected to be in before a ball was kicked in this playoff. No, not at all. As you can see from the picture we just shown, the body language now looked very good. been something of a nemesis to Bob Bradley and the team of course that knocked his USA side out in the last 16 of the last World Cup in South Africa Asamoa cleared by Naguib forward by a party this is Salah of Basel he's gone for the return as well Taking it beautifully in his stride. Abu Treka, key, useful ball. Nothing really Karaba could do with it. Got them off the Egyptian bench anyway. Fantastic play by the Egyptian. One or two chap play. Move the ball from one end of the pitch to another end to create a good chance. But he just passed the ball too fast. the Ghana goalkeeper is signalling has a problem. It is, it's hard to say he's had a problem. That's a, that's a blatant dive. I, I wish he, he, can, he can see this replay himself. Been the first choice goalkeeper since the African Cup of Nations tournament last January. Ghana actually only arrived in the country yesterday. They chose to prepare in Istanbul. As you can see, understandably very relaxed in the build-up. Yeah, I think that was a, 
a good idea for them in the sense where they want to be away from every all kind of distraction and make the boys relax and so where they can get ready for the big this massive game an opportunity for them to go to the World Cup in Brazil Downer is okay and he's retaken his position for this Egypt corner which is headed away strongly by Samela Salah gone Ghana's way. The Ghana don't seem like they don't need to be in a rush to take any free kick or any throw in because they got a massive lead from the first game. <laughs> clever play by Michael Lissan. Very clever play. Chelsea midfielder takes the free kick looking for Ayu. Up against Shadi Konawi. Lovely little touch from Montari. Should point out as well that Kevin Prince Boateng of Schalke, who was injured for the first leg, available for this one. He's amongst the substitutes, such as the apparent strength and depth of Ghana. Yeah, that's a great, it's a, it's a great player to come up on the bench and show his experience. Playing in AC Milan, Germany now, but. As it shows that the Ghana have got a lot of quality in the squad. Which is good to see. That's one thing the Egyptian lack. Somebody coming from the bench that can make a big difference, such as Chris Bolton, you know, Kevin to come in and to make a massive impact. Here's Abu Traker for Egypt. To Abdul Shafiq. Good header away by Apari. For Ghana, Essien beaten to it though by Hassan Ghali. This is Fati. Now a chance for Asamoah to bring it forward for Ghana. Montari looking for the run of Samela. from Karaba, a little too early for the stride of Mohamed Salah. It's a former Ghana captain, Kwesi Apia. This will be his proudest moment if he can complete the project to, to the World Cup Finals. I think there have so many fans, haven't they, over the two tournaments in which they've competed? No, it, 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 they have, they've carried the front all the way through, which is good to see. A little fortunate to get away with that clearance by the goalkeeper Dowda. He's a lucky boy, he is. It's opposite number Ekrami. Abu Treka, who has just helped Al Akhli to an eighth African Champions League victory. So many of these Egyptian players who now have a corner and behind by Adi. I'm just very concerned with the Ghanaian back four, they're very young, inexperienced, never really playing this big stage of a game. And so if Egypt can pull a lot of pressure on the Ghanaian back four, they might you know open the door in there because they lack leadership in the back. Well that was aimed towards the goalkeeper Dowda. He was a judge to have been fouled as he punched that clear. Back of the net. Good jump by Asamoah Jan. Ayu. Samela. Oh, 
Saki. Abdul Shafi for Egypt. Patient build up down their left. Karaba. Teenager who plays for Lucerne in Switzerland, winning just his third cap today. Here he is again on the ball. Gali, the captain. Shadid Kanawi was free to his right, but he couldn't find him. Here's Shan. Stopped in his tracks by Rabia. Very least the Egyptian supporters want to see today is commitment and organisation. Yeah, they're showing passion. They can play, they can pass the ball better than the last game. Clip forward by Farting. <laughs> Only as far as Shadid Kanawi. Disappointing from his point of view, away by Ayu. Neither side able to hold on to the ball at the moment for a long enough period. Abu Traker dispossessing Asamoa. Abdul Shafi. And Fati with the challenge. Fantastic. The Egyptian won every single second ball. They really, really want to make an impact on this game. Here's Zaki. Looking for the run of Salah. Fowler quickly off his line in the Ghanaian goal. Very brave from the goalkeeper. You want the goalkeeper to be demanding, to come in when they need to, be, to come in, and to show strength. The Egyptian players must be appreciative of the deafening atmosphere as well, having played each and every one of their home qualifiers behind closed doors in this stadium. Yeah, a, a, a lot happened in, in Egypt, but it's great that to get a fan back in and to support the, 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 the country, which every player will tell you that the home support is always important. So it, it's good to have the, the, the Egyptian people in the stadium. You can hear them now, trying to encourage their nation to restore some pride today. Abdul Shafi's cross. Abu Treka. Off Daniel Apari. Fati might have a shooting opportunity. He's deflected off Apari for an Egypt corner. And again, the Egyptian is showing composure with the ball, pass and move and create chances. It's a great shot, just off target, great block by Suleiman Parry. Their all-time top scorer, Abu Traker, to deliver the corner. Goalkeeper made an early decision, it was a good one, solid punch from Dowda. Back in from Kunawi. This is Fati. Gali. Encouraging moments for Egypt. That could have been a worrying one. If Somela had found that pass. Oh, Sam Gali. Well, that was a teasing delivery. Not so sure Ayo was expecting the pass from his goalkeeper, but he got it in the end. A very clever play by the goalkeeper, very brave of him. Yeah, a particularly sweet moment for Michael Essien, who was forced to miss the World Cup in South Africa because of a knee injury. He had two years away from the national team, he was persuaded back by Kwesi Appiah in August. Foul on Shadid Kanawi, it's a free kick to Egypt. Oh, Bradley is kicking every ball down there, the Egyptian coach. I, I don't think the Ghanaian are doing themselves any favour by committing fouls in the on snuff up from the success ball because they're bringing more, more pressure to the back four and more pressure to the goalkeeper, which might lead them to be 
to consider a goal and they don't want to consider a goal right now because the gym should have been on top of the game so far. Gonna have everybody back to defend this set play. Again, Abu Traker. He's the man to deliver this. Hassan Ghali telling him exactly where he wants it. And there it is. The first goal for Amir Zaki. They can't wait to get it back underway. 1-0 on the night. They've reduced the aggregate arrears to 6-2. Great free kick, and I said before, they put a lot of pressure on the goalkeeper. Fantastic head about Amir Zakib. What an experienced player in the team. He showed power, commitment. He actually came off with his elbow. I don't think he knew where the ball was. But anyway, right now, you can take as a goal because they really need to come back and show so much passion. Fantastic goal. You can see the celebration from Bob Bradley. He knew, they knew, they had to score first for many, many reasons, and they've done exactly that through the former Wigan and Hull striker, Amir Zaki. Egyptian being a better side so far, they've shown composure, passed the ball, moved move the ball better than Ghana. Only four more to go without reply. And one of the greatest sporting comebacks would be complete. In a game of football, anything can happen. Listen to the injection of noise on the Cairo International Stadium now, in the Egyptian capital. I've had so many days to stew over that thumping in Ghana. Out to prove a point today. Exactly what the Egyptian need to score first. I think this will give them a bit of a belief and it will build the momentum going to, you know, the last 15 minutes of the game and hopefully they can capitalise on, on, on this great goal. Well, that's the first small step to score the first goal. Took them just 25 minutes to add to the Abertraker penalty from the first leg, 6-2 on aggregate. As we said before, the Ghanaian lead the lead, they need the leadership at the back. They have a very, very inexperienced back four, very young guys. But you need somebody, a very experienced player, to command the back four, to command the free kick and, and defend online. That's Montari. And then Essien's ball. Apples cross. Cut out by Nagib. Went back by Michael Essien, cleverly done. Still Essien, just delayed as he finally went for goal. And here come Egypt on the break. With Hossam Ghali looking for Zaki again. Salah trying to get a touch. The Egyptian have now momentum with their side. They believe they can score more goal. As long as they string a couple of passes together. And put more pressure on the Ghanaian back four. Rabia comes to Abdel Shafi. Afal lets that go out of play. Remind that the live action just keeps on coming tomorrow night from seven. The FA Cup replay between Gateshead and Oxford with the winners away to Wrexham. That's over on one. Huge game from the Premier League on Saturday. The Merseyside derby live from Goodison Park in the Barclays Premier League from 11.30 on one. And talking of huge games, it's the top two head-to-head -head in Germany from the Bundesliga, Dortmund and Bayern. That's Saturday on one. 
from 5.30. You can watch all the action on btsport.com and, of course, the BT Sport app. One nil to Egypt in Cairo, 6-2 to Ghana on aggregate. Asamoah of Juventus, fouled. Fatih didn't agree with the Ivory Coast referee's interpretation. It's a free kick to Ghana. This is a fair play, it's a free kick. Just right, up to running with the ball and sliding tackle behind him, which is a, it's clear to say it's definitely a free kick. they don't reach Brazil, it will be the goodbye for Bob Bradley in charge of Egypt tonight. He knows that, the supporters know that, the players do too. He won't want too many nervy moments though, Kwesi Appiah, the Ghanaian coach. I'd love to see this go in. It's a wild effort in the end which was deflected for a Ghana corner. Having a word exchange disagreement there. The locals a little enraged that Suleiman Tari is in no real hurry to take this corner kick for Ghana. Finally, the former Portsmouth and Sunderland player delivers it poorly, cleared comfortably by Abitraker. A party. by Athol. Zaki, the goal scorer, keeps it in for Egypt. Shadid Kanawi. Heavy touch allows Essien to regain possession for Ghana. Finds Samela. Fouled by Garlic. I think Austin Garlic should do better than that. He knows experienced player. They need they need the ball. They don't need to start wasting time with uh, fouling players and committing free kick, which is it's good for Ghana because they don't have to score any more goals. They this game can finish at this and they'll be happy. There's a problem for Montari. Meanwhile, IU's delivery again is very disappointing from a Ghanaian point of view. For, for the standard of play of, of, of IU, and, and their delivery has been very poor. You expect them to, to at least put the ball in the box and, and make, a, make an effort to put it in there, you know? Ghana temporarily down to 10 while Muntari gets repaired. Long throw from a party. Jan couldn't have bring it under control. Ayu loses out to Kinawi. Foul on Abu Traker. Understandably, Egypt keen to get on with matters. Abdul Shafi. Crossing towards Zaki. Certainly asked Ghana a question. Well, they just about had the answer for it. Before the foul on Essien by Fatik. It's a very hostage environment for the Ghana, and they've got to be able to deal with this pressure and be able to cope with the crowd making so all kind of noises. And that's why you need experienced player of the light of Michael Essien to get hold of the ball and pass the ball, keep the composure and keep the ball ticking for the team. And Traker, he's looking for Salah. He's gone for the return here, Mohamed Salah. Exciting talent, playing for 
Basel, of course, in the Champions and Europa League in the last couple of seasons. Scored against Spurs and Chelsea in the Europa League last season. Very heavy passes, very bad. Clever play. You can see the frustration from the coach. One nil. Sounds easy, but five nil does it. Courtesy of the away goal that they scored from the penalty spot. That did give them a hope coming to this game. That one goal. Albeit an extremely slim one. Mohamed Nagib. Abdul Shafi. Zaki. I fancy a go. Decent try as well from Amir Zaki. Great shot by Amir Zaki, full of confidence in the Egyptian. They start believing, they start taking shot. Great shot as Amir Zaki. Made the keeper work, that's the most important thing. Here comes the corner. Again, the goalkeeper with a confident punch. Dowder. Oh, Kenal, we might have got away with that. Still alive. Here is the fullback. Cut out by Montari. Ten minutes to half time of the second leg of this playoff to decide the fourth African participant in Brazil next summer. Dowder again involved. Apari was ahead of him to head it clear for Ghana. Now Ayu. There's a chase on here for Samela. Who is quick. Fantastic tackle there. Right on time to get a ball. Nice and clean. Remember the big hitters, the Ivory Coast, Nigeria and Cameroon. Already assured of their place in Brazil. This and then the clash between Burkina Faso and Algeria. The other ones to complete African qualifying. So much at stake. This is what they've worked almost two years for. Rabia. Egypt, of course, four years ago suffered playoff heartache at exactly the same stage when they were beaten by Algeria after two consecutive appearances at the World Cup. Here's Kanawi, though, trying to keep it in, which he did, and there was no Egypt player there to profit. It's unlike of Egypt, they, they need both guys, guys in a box to make, to make a difference. But so far, they've been a better fight, better side. They passed the ball quicker, made more chances in the gun in. Great tackle there. Fantastic tackle to see. Abdul Shafi it was who came across the Zamalek defender. A party throw for Ghana. Rabia first to it for Egypt. Just feel if Egypt could get another one before half time for Brees that maybe, just maybe the There'll be a little indecision in the Ghanaian ranks. Just maybe they'll make a, a big noise coming out second half. Essien. He's looking towards Asamo Jan. We've hardly mentioned Asamo Jan's name in this game so far. Yeah, it's been very quiet for Asamo Jan, but credit to the Egyptian. Don't take anything away because that what they've played for the first 37 minutes of the game, they control the ball and uh, they, they stop Ghana creating any chances. They make sure they play long balls like this ball. An Egyptian being second, you know, first from every single header. Good work by David Addy, who's beaten to it by Zaki. Well, what's the referee from the Ivory Coast going to do here? He's producing a card, but it's yellow. Most of this stadium in Cairo wanted that to be a different colour. 
It's very, very naive, yeah. Very, very naive defending. As I said before, the Ghanaian back four need to be put under pressure. And so when you put under pressure, they start making mistakes like this. And committing fouls that don't need to be committed to the foul because at the end of the day, you should just get rid of the ball. Amir Zaki is running a bit too much here, there. So Adi, the 23-year-old defender who plays his foot Portugal, just his eighth cap, and has shown the yellow card, and Egypt have a set-play opportunity. But before that, they are going to make a change. Caraba, the teenager, goes off, and Ghetto of Hull City is on loan from Al Akhli. The 28-year-old who helped Hull into the Premier League last season is on in his place. Abu Traker with a delivery. Affle. Danger isn't clear here for Ghana. Gado just beaten to it. It's an attacking change from Bob Bradley. Yeah, he feels like his team has got, a, has got a momentum so far. He feels he can contribute from that and bring in more attacking player to cause the Garnet back for more trouble. Messi inside the last five minutes of the first half of the second leg in the Cairo International Stadium. He insisted on a friendly match after the first leg as well, which took place four days ago here. They beat Zambia by two goals to nil. Amir Zaki scored in that game as well. Just to try and restore a little bit of confidence, I think. Yeah, I think that's a clever, clever idea by the coach to get the boys a good friendly game against a decent opposition. This is Salah. Good burst of pace, goes down. I think he's given a yellow card for diving here. Well, he's certainly not given the penalty. He told Salah to get back on his feet. I think the Ghanaian got away from the hook here. That they actually got away from it. The Ghanaian, they should. I'm, I'm sure Ghana coach wanted to get on half time and get the ball settled down. Here's Jan though, trying to get goal side of Rabia. He recovered enough to make the challenge. It's all Egypt right now. They just need to keep this momentum going and hopefully they can score. Montari. In from Affle. Away by Naguib. He was fouled as well. Let's have a look at this, Fabrice. That's not a penalty. That's just, that, that's just, he, he tried to lie to the referee because it felt that very, very easy. Obviously, the reaction from the coach, he, he thinks like he's lying to him, should, should, should he get a penalty? And tonight, where Egypt will try anything and everything to pull off the unthinkable. Remember, 1-0 on the night. 6-2 to Ghana on aggregate. Rabia. Abu Treka. What a lovely ball. It's well read by Dowda, the goalkeeper. Well done, goalkeeper coming in and trying to come in his box, his area to beat Nimbani. As any goal, top goalkeeper will be. about Michael I and you expect him to keep the ball better than that. Given away cheaply again by Ghana. Very cheap. They, they, I think they're causing themselves on trouble for, for no reason. It... Kenawi. Akari with the challenge. He's going to get a yellow card for it as well. It's 
so started from giving the ball away very cheap by Michael Hussain and, and leading that to a, a counter-attacker which is a naive defender who couldn't stand his ground properly and I committed a foul which would give Egyptian another chance to go forward again. Uh, that's a blatantly dive that should never been. So a party along with Adik and a yellow card for Ghana. Bob Bradley's team in the last minute of the first half have another free kick. They've had plenty of them in this opening period. It'd be a perfect time to reduce the arrears further. Abu Traker's delivery. Goalkeeper didn't get that one. Back from Abu Traker again. Hooked away by Montari. All the way back from Kanawi. Long for Mehrami, the goalkeeper, won by Zaki. Ayu. Two minutes of time to add up. Into the first half of the second leg. It's not a period that Bob Bradley agrees with. I think he feels after a couple of lengthy stoppages that there's possibly more. Every minute is crucial for Egypt today. Yeah, every, every single minute for the Egyptian are, are very important because that could be a, a change and a massive difference to the World Cup qualifier so far. Shafi stopped in his tracks. The 28-year-old picks it up again for Egypt. Fati. Trying to find the run of Gedder. Not succeeding. Jan's jump. Last minute of stoppage time at the end of the first half. Affle. Giving the ball away time and time again, Garner in this first half. That's why the game they've been behind the pressure lot because the amount of time they gave it the ball away. Kenawi. Salah, back to Kenawi. Gathered in the end by Dauda. Fantastic play by the, the Egyptian. Quick one to around the box and he just couldn't connect to the ball properly. Clever play. Quick one to. And just didn't hit the ball on target but just wasn't powerful enough. Well, there is the half time whistle in the Cairo International Stadium, Egypt in front on the night in the second leg, but still with a huge deficit to try and claw back in the second half. It is, of course, 6-2 on aggregate. Amir Zaki's goal after 25 minutes, raising hope somewhat. Ghana have looked fragile and nervous, but they are still in a commanding position. When we come back, we'll look back at the highlights and also round up what else has happened in the African qualifiers. But on the night, at the break, it is Egypt 1, Ghana 0. Welcome back to Cairo to see if Egypt can restore some more pride. They lead Ghana by a goal to nil in this second leg. 6-2 on aggregates, a lot closer between Burkina Faso and Algeria. Burkina Faso 3-2 up uh, from the first leg. The second leg in Algeria uh, later here on 2, live from 6.15. At the end of that game, we will know all five of the African representatives for Brazil next summer.
already. The Ivory Coast, Nigeria and Cameroon are there. And barring a huge comeback in this second half, Ghana will be there as well. Although it has been all Egypt. In the first 45 minutes, able to force one goal from the former Wigan striker Amir Zaki. And it will be Egypt to get the second half of the 20th meeting between these two nations underway. Could well be the last 45 minutes of Bob Bradley's tenure. It's set up to be one of the most dramatic 45 minutes of international football ever witnessed, and straight away, the Hull City striker Gedo forces a corner. Another way to start. You don't want to be under the pressure again. Now the guy here find himself again under the pressure, considering early corner, which is great defence by Asamoah Abu Traika and his supporters allowed to watch their team in a competitive game inside the stadium for the first time in two years. Have played their part with the noise they've generated. Salah. He went down rather easily. There was no foul by a party. Samela. He felt he was impeded, and the Ivory Coast referee did as well. Got to play by Samela. I think they need somebody to hold the ball for them more often to ease up the pressure for, from the back four boys and they bring the ball forward. I think that's what they're going to need to do now. Chan, he scored two in the 6-1 first leg victory. 39 international goals in 76 games now for Asamoah Jan. This is Suleiman Tari. Affle. Asamoah. If you were one of those Ghana players at the moment in this position, what would what would be your frame of mind, Fabrice? Let's try to keep us the ball as much possible as we can because we're in a in a better position and they have to attack us. So we need to make them work for the ball. So that's the be, that's probably the best advice. Don't try to go and try to score now because you're gonna cause yourself more trouble. Just keep the ball, and from there we can create chances. Abdul Shafi. Gado tried to go to the end of it, he's got a second chance. Brilliant block by Adi. Fantastic blow by Abi. It's again, the gun there, they find themselves in the back four. And a lot of pressure. Farting. Breakdown in communication with Kanawi. Sometimes the easiest ball, the best ball are the easiest passes. It's not, it's not easy to do. <laughs> Samela dispossessed by Gali, who takes the throw quickly. Marauding run by Fati. Now Salah. Fati wants more for Egypt. Managed to get the cross in that time, but extremely comfortable for Dauda in the Ghanaian goal. Any qualified Ghana for the playoffs with a victory in the last group game. 2 1 over Zambia. Remember, Egypt were the only African nation who won six out of six in qualifying. That made the 6 1 scoreline in Ghana 35 days ago even more surprising. Nice ball from Essien. In from Affel. Chan. Shot never generated enough power. I think he needed the support from the midfield and the midfield player they're playing so deep to the point where they don't get enough time to go in forward to go forward to support the likes of Asamoajan, which he need he needs the support right now. Here's Salah. One of four forwards on the pitch. He ignored them all. 
and went for goal himself. I think any Ghanaian watching this game now, they know their country are under a lot of pressure and they just want to make sure they keep composed at the back end and try not to consider any goal so far. Rather than that, they will be OK. Because Egypt have got players like that young man who are capable of a moment of inspiration and magic. Yeah, which, which is, a, is, a, is an important player for the Egyptian and he can make it change the game. And the more he sees the ball, the more trouble the Ghanaian are causing himself. Abdul Shafi, and together, first half substitute, and Steve Bruce knows well. Top scorer in the 2010 African Cup of Nations, where he also got the winner against Ghana in that tournament. Remember, as it stands, Egypt need four goals in 40 minutes without reply. to pull off the unthinkable. central defenders for Ghana on yellow cards it's important they keep control of the situation there are 11 men on the pitch yeah they, they need to and they need to keep the ball better as well the Ghana giving the ball away very easy in the middle of the park the lights of Montari you expect the player of his caliber to be composed and run the game through and pass the ball better but he seems to give the ball away more often than, he, than a player of, 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 of his standard Hari has got the long throw in his locker. He's looking for Jean, he was nowhere near him. Afo plays his football in Turkey. He's gone on the overlap ahead of Asamoah here. Floated in towards Ayu at the back post, who really believed he was going to get there. Uh, that's poor by his standard, you know. You, you, you expect, I, I mean, in this game, some of the, the Ghanaian players have not really shown up and not shown the experience and, and what they're capable of doing with the ball. Abu Traika. He did threaten to quit football altogether after the Port Said riots. He was tempted back into the game by Bob Bradley with the challenge of getting to Brazil. They've got a corner for his team in the short term here. That's the second corner in the space of five, seven minutes. Salah delivers it. It's a better one as far as Egypt were concerned. Are you? by the Marseille player. Samela is offside, it was a late flag. Referee should, arrived. Referee should be cooking in that now. Ayu has a problem for Ghana. Looks like the left hamstring. That's not a good a good sign there to see. Well, Hasni Ab Rabo is going to come on for Egypt and Ghana are going to be forced into a change because that's the end of Andre Ayu's day, the Marseille player. Another key player to be substituted 
early in the second half. It's not something that the Ghana wanted to see. Getting a substitute ready. Egypt now every second crucial if this incredible task is going to become any closer to the dream becoming reality. going to be Wakasu, the 23-year-old who comes on for Ghana shortly. It's very Play quick, Sayu. very, very quick, Wakasu. Ah! As you can see, Abdrado waiting patiently to come on as well. He replaces Fati for Egypt. So two of the three changes made by Bob Bradley. Really needs an alteration in this scoreline to check the levels of hope. And it's Rabo who plays his football in Saudi Arabia. 28-year-old on the ball. Into Abu Traika. Salah. Zaki with the shot, deflected and into the arms of Dauda. Ayu's day is over. That's run by Nagib. Gali. Kinawi's cross almost reached Abu Traika. Here he is now, Kali. Home supporters, perhaps understandably, a little frustrated. A shot didn't arrive there. Abdrabo's cross. And then Abu Traika with the volleyed effort. Fantastic play by the Egyptian. They can command passes together. Sometimes they can overplay, but this moment it just was the ball wasn't on target at all. If it wasn't target, it make a big difference. Just over the ball. The anguish. Not Egyptian bench. And of course, haven't competed in a World Cup final since. Italia 1990, here's Asamoah, and that hit Jan. That's behind Salah. I don't think need to be giving the ball away this time now. The Egyptians, they need, they need every single second, every single time they work. They've got the ball on their feet, they've got to make something. Well, the final role of the Egyptian dice is going to be the introduction of Shikabala. Often controversial figure. Samela for Ghana. Chan waiting in the middle. Way through for Wakaso. Zaki. Understandably, they're coming a little anxious. Yes, yeah, so I, I think he's going to be frustrated, but as you can see, what he brings to the team very strong, powerful guy. Can a he's able to hold two guys at the same time, so... Wakaso. 
Play with effort from the 23-year-old who plays his football for Ruben Kazan. It's been picked up by Gedo. Useful run from him, Abu Treka, Salah. Nice but defending again from Ghana. So Jim corner. They're giving the ball away so much so cheaply in the midfield and they're causing the back four to be under a lot of pressure, which they don't want to do right now. And and the Egyptian they, they will kind of take momentum for that and hope once it's got another goal, it's more pressure for the Ghana. Shakabala waits. He'll be introduced after this corner, delivered by Salah. In towards Zaki. Might still make something of the second ball. Abdrabo. It's a poor ball, but a job ball. Very poor. So here comes Shikabala. Had a couple of years in Greece with Pauksalonika. Earlier in his career, he was only recalled last year by Bob Bradley. Zaki, the goal scorer at the parts. It's a big call to take him off. The most important player, the pitch. Looks as though he's injured for Brees in fairness, doesn't it? Yeah, he looked Holding like his hamstring. He looked like his hamstring. Certainly improved Egypt with his recall, Zaki. I think he is, he's been a big difference to the side and what he brings to the team and his physical presence up front. And when the team under pressure, he can control the ball when he's been thrown at him. So three changes made now. It is the 11 players remaining on the pitch for Egypt who will try and perform the miracle in the last 29 minutes. Deny his team a place in Brazil. Montari. I didn't see that making any any impact on, for the goalkeeper. It's the ball is going right all the way through from the moment. Going away from the post. They were on official flights from Ghana in and out of Egypt today because of the understandable security concerns. And plenty of those Ghanaian supporters wanted to be here to start the party. To look forward to a third consecutive World Cup finals for their country. appeared in any of course until Germany in 2006 and then in 2010 they became only the third ever African nation to reach the last eight before that penalties defeat to Uruguay when you speak to any player manager supporter the fact that this tournament is up and coming in Brazil just means that little bit more I think anybody who got a chance to go to Brazil to experience the atmosphere in there will tell you how much a World Cup mean to be there and that was Essien getting ahead of Abu Treka as well Gomar the 38 year old who won't be coming on in what would have been his last matches international retirement here comes the corner decent jump by Naguib but he couldn't keep the header down no, he couldn't get a header down at all. As we said earlier, going to Brazil, fantastic opportunity for the Ghanaian, for the Nigerian, Ivory Coast to, to showcase their talent in also so called a country who love football. It will be anybody's dream come true. The only difference in this particular meeting of these two heavyweights is that nobody all of Ghana included, expected this scenario with 25 minutes of the second leg to go. Uh, if you ask any Ghana, they, they would have they take 
me and home advantage to play they keep the first game in Ghana because they've got a home advantage, they've got a crowd to grow for. And they played they play well and they put Egypt under a lot of pressure and they deserve to win the game first half. Apple with the throw. A disappointing ball by Asamoa. And the foul on Salah. Sam Garden. As I said before, sometimes the simplest ball at the best pass in the game, and that's a waste of time, you know. Austin, Austin should know better than that. The player with his caliber, experience, should know they need to keep the ball to create chances. Montari. Samela with the run for Ghana. Samara Jan, the lone figure in the penalty area, comfortably taken by Ekrami. And the Egypt goal. Hasn't had a single save to make on his recall, but it is at the other end. Where Egypt need to affect the game. Late challenge by Abu Traker. That's been a roller coaster ride for Bob Bradley in charge of Egypt. As it stands, it'll be a disappointing end to his time in charge. Here's Jan. Affle onside. Thinks he's got a corner, and the Ivory Coast referee agrees. Bob Bradley took over a team, a country was going for a lot of trans transformation. A lot has happened in a country of Egypt, and he had to deal with that on the political side of it and, the, and on, on the football side, which is so at one point the, the league side quite later than expected, well, which is not good for the national side. Here comes the Ghana corner. There have been too many of those in this game, understandably so. Here's Montari. Now Salah. All alone. It's a sprint. Dowda comes out. And it's a good effect. Clever effect by Salah to drive the ball from, the, from his back four all the way to the other side of the pitch to win a, a, a free kick for the, a, for a win for them. Kenawi. Managed to get the cross in. Dowda did just enough under pressure. He's a goalkeeper who likes to come off his line, Fabrice. He's a very brave man. Shikabala. On to his left. Never really troubling Dowda. It never really connected to the ball really well. It showed all the good side of it, but the connection wasn't there. Before the first leg, he did hadn't lost a competitive fixture since June 2012. 100% record as they cruise through qualifying to get to the playoff really did raise the hopes and expectations of the nation crashed down in those 90 minutes in Ghana. Shikabala. Crowded out in the end. Samela. Clever play by the defender. Now going back to what you were saying, he could.
couldn't have envisaged the off the field because he would have to deal with, let alone the big ones on the field when he took the job. Yeah, it affected the football side of the football side of everything and starting the, 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 the league quite later than expected. Had a lot of impact on the World Cup qualifier as well. Knowing that most of his most of his players play in the local league as well. So here come his team here with Kanawi. Shikabala. Okamari did just enough for Ghanaian defender. That's four from Montana. The ball away, and that's just causing more pressure to his back four. Team effort from Abdraba. of the live football up and coming tomorrow night from the FA Cup first round replay League 2 Oxford go to Gateshead of the conference it's live on one from seven the winners are away to Wrexham huge game from the Barclays Premier League on Saturday the Merseyside derby Roberto Martin has his first experience of that from Goodison the build-up starts 11.30 on Saturday on one and talking of big games the top two in Germany from the Bundesliga head-to-head -head later on on Saturday. Dortmund entertaining Bayern, the champions. Pep Guardiola's first experience of that game. It is live from 5.30 on one on Saturday. Don't forget, of course, you can watch all the action on btsport.com and the BT Sport app. Egypt will be watching the World Cup from afar. Unless there is the most incredible twist in the tail. In the remaining 18 and a half minutes or so, 1-0 on the night in Cairo, but 6-2 on aggregate to Ghana. We're coming forward here. That's cut out by Naguib for a Ghana corner. Difficult situation for the Egyptian players tonight. Garner are making a change. Badu of Udinese replacing Montari. Who, it's fair to say, Fabrice hasn't had his most effective evening. No, Soli didn't have not, have not had the best game, but his, his experience in the team has been a key, key member of the squad. and. Another important player been replaced by. He's actually being shown the yellow card for his delay in going off. That's, that's just time wasting. He's walking away. So the 22-year-old Badu of Udinese on for the last 17 minutes or so. and beaten to that one. This is Shikabala. Ghetto. Salah. Abdul Shafi for Egypt. Useful cross, goalkeeper came, got nothing on it. Now there might be a Ghanaian break on the cards. Matthew's first touch is to drill it straight at Garley. Fresh leg. Hopefully he can make an imp impact in the mid middle of the park. Abu Traker. Garley. Now Ghetto. Hossam Ghali with the little chip. Looking for Ghetto. 
Good save by Dowda, followed up by Salah, and then cleared virtually off the line by Apari. Better Egyptian pressure. And then hammered away by Michael Essien. Egyptian are putting pressure now on the Ghanaian back four, which is him able to, to handle them, but at that moment, he needed a, one of your defenders to stand up and be counted, which he did as well. Garlic. There was a late challenge earlier on, so it'll be a free kick to Egypt. And a yellow card for Wakaso. That's the reason why. I think I just saw Knight be very naive and uh, very inexperienced because you're just causing more trouble to your back four and to your defence. In from Shikabala. Free header at the back post. No side flag was up anyway. Nagib it was who... Uh, Abitreka rather it was who got his head... Country's all-time record goal scorer. He's just helped Al Ahly to an eighth African Champions League win over the Orlando Pirates. He won't be getting the international stage next summer for his country. That's why Wakaso was booked. Here comes the Ghana corner. Asamoah. Flag is up against Shan. They weren't quick enough to get up to be the offside line. Egypt goal after 25 minutes seems a long time ago. They haven't really been able to raise any flickering hopes of the remarkable happening. Yeah, the damage is already, is already made, it's been done from the last game. Ghana playing at home and they, they took an every single advantage. A lot of defensive mistake and led to Ghana to have a massive six one lead. Shikabala. Couldn't get the return ball. And this is Shan. Huge burst from Adi, the defender here. A party rather. That's a clever play. Ghanaian change is the removal of Samela. And on comes one of the goal scorers from the first leg, Abdul Waris of Sparta Moscow. Three goals in his last three games for his country. A little unfortunate not to start the game with that kind of record tonight. Yep. their numbers there and it's Kevin Prince Boateng who has
come on for the last 11 minutes. He was injured for the first leg. Now Schalke, of course, formerly of Spurs in Milan. Another not a bad substitute to bring on in this situation. Uh, you're, you're changing an experienced player from like Bundesliga, um, Premier League player. Um, somebody who's got so much experience. Salah's shot for Egypt. And there's the touch of Boateng. And here he is again. Essien's ball. Foul on Wakaso. Free kick to Ghana. A yellow card for Rabia. I think there's a sound of frustration there to leave one on his attacker on there. With 10 minutes to play, I don't think you want to consider free kick and to pull yourself under more pressure. Tanks delivering. Well, it's the last nine minutes of his tenure. He called for pride to be restored. Have they done that for Greece, Egypt? They've shown early sign in the first half, but you know, as we said before, the damage was already made from the first game, and 6 1 is a massive, massive mountain to climb, especially in a World Cup qualifier. It would have been a whole different story if, if the, this, the first leg was in Egypt. I think. A long wait for a World Cup appearance. We'll go on. Shikabala. Three games in Italia 90, Republic of Ireland, Holland, Bobby Robson's England. Not since then have they competed on the biggest stage of international football. All concerned with their country. They don't look too happy there. We'll wait as well. Not the happy guys. though chasing this with Adi and as well looking ahead to Egypt they will be changing their coach after this game eight of their squad for this match were 30 or over and expect Gomar and Abatreka to retire they might have a chance here with Gedo they have the whole city striker and has made it 2-0 on the night with his 18th international goal, and just restored a little more pride for the hosts. The Egyptian, when they shrink two passes together, they open up the Ghana back four, and that is a very cool, composed finish by an experienced, experienced player. Just unfortunate to be on, on, on the losing score, on the losing side, because he's, he's been one of the best players for the Egyptians so far in this game. Fantastic player. When they when they open, when they shrink two passes and they open up a gun there, very easy. And you sense that will be the real frustration when they look back on these two matches. They've shown at times in this game what they've been capable of. That they let themselves down badly in the first leg. Yeah. And they haven't made more of fist of it. No, they they haven't at all. But credit to the Ghana first leg because Ghana started it very very bright. Come out of the box with uh, the created chances, score the first goal, and also mistake at the back at the Egyptian. The first day kind of cost him this the both tie. In less than a minute after scoring the goal, Gado is in the referee's notebook. 
Man who hopped Hull into the Premier League last season during his loan spell. Six three, the aggregate scoreline now. And Salah. Free kick to Ghana. Chan. He's now been penalised. Little need for him to lose his temper in this kind of situation. Uh, I don't think we need, we don't need to see him lose temper because he's a very, very important player to the Ghanaian national side. Going back to the point it was making, looks as though Bob Bradley is leading the job, and they have got plenty of aging players, haven't they? Egypt's transitional period ahead. I think it's important for the Egyptian. Football Association to also invest on, a, on, a, on, on players going away from away from home because that will benefit the, the, the football, the nation, the club, the, the football, and also improve the, the national team because sometimes different ideas can also improve the, the quality of, of the football. Shikabala. Kenari's ball forward as we head towards the last three minutes. A real contrast of emotions as Egypt look towards another campaign, another manager. Ghana will look towards a third successive World Cup Finals. Heading towards Gedo. I think what goes on players' mind here is if we could have done this, if we could have done that, what if sometimes just have, when you have the opportunity to make a difference in the football game, just go out there, give your best. And, and I think the Egyptians put themselves down in the first game because of how bad they defend and very naive sometimes on, on the position play. But the Guardian took advantage of it and you know, they got punished for it 6 1. And coming to this leg is was always always gonna be a huge, huge task. Apple. This is Sean. Try to set up the substitute, Kevin Prince Boateng, who makes Ghana do score on the night. And begins the party that will end in Brazil next summer. This is a definitely has sent the Ghana to Brazil next year. Cool and calm finish by Prince Boateng. Clever run, good pass. Asamoah Jan to find Prince Boateng in the box, no one to mark him. Good goal. Well done, Ghana. Just his second international goal. His first came against Bob Bradley too, against the USA in the World Cup Finals in South Africa. I think that's a difference. That, they can now look forward to another World Cup. I think that's a difference with the, with the Garnet. They've got a player who can come in and make a big, big change to bring to help someone like Prince Botan as a substitute. It shows the quality that Garnet possess in their squad.
little bit of frustration being shown there. The final few seconds now. Over the two legs, well, there's still another five minutes before Egypt are put out of their misery. But over the two legs, Ghana have been thoroughly professional and clinical for Brees. Yeah, they have. The experienced player, they needed to stood up and play a better football sometime. They were very clinical. They didn't create as much chances, but when the cushions were given to them, they scored it. That's a big difference. Salah, Shikabala beaten to it. Badu. Over elaboration from Michael Essien. Salah picks out Gedo. Salah once more, Shikabala with a chance. And one he cannot take. Absolutely set there. He just missed a massive opportunity. He was all alone by himself. All he had to do is stay composed and put the ball the back of the net. I could say that to you, but it's not easy. When you're in there, we all miss that opportunity. We're looking ahead to next summer. As I mentioned, in South Africa, they were only the third ever African nation to reach the last day. What would you expect of Ghana in Brazil? Well, we expect Ghana to go out there to give a good count to themselves and to represent Africa in, in a very good way and to show they've got a team, they've got the players. You know, if they can defend better, you, you never know what you, you can get in, in, in a World Cup. As they proved in South Africa, I guess. Yes, they have. And they've got the team, they've got the players, and as we've just seen, they've got the T-shirts ready as well. Yep, they can well prepare. Not surprisingly, as they arrived here with a 6-1 lead from the first leg. There they are. Ghana on the road to Brazil and definitely in Brazil. Not really that that was in any doubt before this second leg. Jan. Got three goals in South Africa, Asamoah Jan. Of course, he did miss that quarter-final penalty. An extra time against Uruguay. And they've got another chance on the bigger stage. And there's his touch to Affle. He was a manager at the last World Cup in charge of the USA. If he's to be in Brazil, it will have to be with another nation. Not with Egypt for Bob Bradley. Do you get opportunities occasionally on the eve of the big tournament? I remember in South Africa, Sven Joran Eriksson taking charge of the Ivory Coast for one. A lot, a lot can happen from here to, you know, go to World Cup and manage it. Get, it'll be sacked in and uh, if you're given an opportunity to, 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 to manage any country in the World Cup, surely you have to take it. Given his track record and potential availability, you wouldn't rule out Bob Bradley being there. As Dowder makes that save. Not long to go now. Cool and composed. Try to see the game through now. As you can see, the enjoyment is going through the crowd as well. Last minute of stoppage time at the end of the two legs. Shikabala for Egypt. It's the end of the road for them. Just the beginning for Ghana. A party.
His last experience, the final few seconds in charge of Egypt. Just the fourth African nation to reach three World Cup finals in a row. Ghana have accomplished that, following on for Cameroon, Nigeria and Tunisia. They will be in Brazil next summer. Egypt victorious on the night, but thumped 7-3 on aggregate. It was always going to be a bridge too far after the events of the first leg. And it is Ghana, the quarter-finalists from South Africa in 2010, who will be competing on the biggest stage in Brazil in 2014. A reminder of the live football tomorrow night on BT Sport comes from the FA Cup first round replay. Football League Oxford got a conference gate set. It's over on one live from 7 o'clock with the winners away to Wrexham. The winners today, though, are Ghana. Overall, by seven goals to three, they have completed their road to Rio. See you next time.